Good Wednesday morning, lads. I'm Marissa Trahill. And I'm Yolande Morrison, and this is your KWHS News. College visits continue in March with the reps from UNC Greeley, visiting us on the 8th. CSU Pueblo will visit us on March 14th and Adams State on the 15th. For those of you applying to Pikes Peak Community College, mark your calendar for April 4th. PPCC will be here to help you complete your application. They will be back on April 26th to help you select your classes for fall semester. You must have a hall pass to attend these college visits. Get those from the Counseling Center. While you're there, check out other important college-related information, such as scholarships and financial aid deadlines. For those of you majoring in music, did you know Fort Hayes State offers music and theater scholarships for choir, band, and orchestra? Act quickly, because their auditions are this coming Saturday, March 4th. Contact the counseling office for audition requirements and information. Ever wonder what kinds of machines the PLTW students can invent to make our lives easier? Stop by the library on Monday, March 6th to see the creations Mr. Bergen's engineering class students have created. Students, if you enjoy puzzles and games or just need some coloring sheets in your life, check out Student Union in the library every weekday afternoon from 2.30 to 4 p.m. You must have an after-school sticker to stay and play, but the inexpensive snacks are worth your time. Attention seniors, if you ordered items from Herf Jones, those will be delivered today at lunch in the lower commons. Please be sure to have your student ID or driver's license at pickup. Caps and gowns won't be delivered just yet. Those will be here in May. If you haven't ordered your graduation announcements, go to yourgrad.com to place those orders online or contact Herf Jones directly. Also, the final senior meeting is next week on March 9th at 9 a.m. in the auditorium. You must attend this meeting where you will receive important details concerning gear and information because like it or not, graduation is right around the corner. Remember, the tassel is worth the hassle. And speaking of graduation, the senior class is asking for your pictures to be used in the graduation slideshow. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and have only seniors in them. Send your photos to heoben2 at wsc3.org or contact Benny Trujillo directly to make arrangements. If you want your photos to be included in the slideshow, Get them in early. Last minute submissions may not be included. Marissa, I bet some people are already hungry. Let's check in with Miss Betsy. You got it. Hey, Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we're making homemade pizza. Hope you come down and join us for lunch. And tomorrow, we're gonna have a pulled pork sandwich. So come on down. Bye, have a great day. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, remember to pay your lunch charges or add money to your accounts. Glads. Come out and, su and support the drama department as they present Rogers and Hammerstein's musical, Cinderella. Performances start on Thursday, March 2, and run through Saturday, March 4. The curtain goes up at 7 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium, so get your tickets now. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. Have you ever wanted to donate blood? Well, here's your chance. Next Thursday, March 9, Byfield High School is hosting a blood drive from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Sign up in the business office, but remember, you must have a driver's license and parental permission to donate. For other eligibility questions, contact the Penrose Blood Bank at this number below. Now here is Dee Contreras with our sports update. Good morning, GLADS. It's Wednesday, and I'm Dee Contreras, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Student Senate is holding Warrior Games on March 10th at 6 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Students from Wyfield High School, Fountain, Fort Carson, and Mesa Ridge will compete in fun games like Human Hungry Hippo, Tug of War, and Relay Races. If you are interested in participating, sign-ups are happening in the quad during lunch, or you can see my ship in room 202. We need spectators too, so come cheer on your favorite team. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Dodgeball teams are now forming for the tournament the week of April 3rd. The cost is $5 for a five-player team. That's $1 per player. See Ms. Ship in room 202 to sign up. If you need a chocolate fix, the Whitefield baseball team is currently selling world's finest chocolate for just $1. Find any baseball player and satisfy your chocolate craving. Finally, GLADS, spring sports has begun. As soon as those events ramp up, we'll have game schedules and scores. That's all I have for you today. I'm Dee Contreras. Have a great short week. Back to you, Marissa and Yolande. Thanks, Dee. Attention students interested in attending the African American Youth Leadership Conference. The conference date is March 11th at Colorado College from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The conference is open to students in 6th to 12th grades. 
See Mr. Hall in the Counseling Center for more information. Juniors and seniors, it's not too early to start planning your prom experience. Outside guest passes are now available in the main office. Get yours early to ensure your date can accompany you to the biggest dance of the year. Guest passes are due back on April 14th. The prom itself will be on April 22nd. Finally, GLADS, Student Senate kicked off its yearly campaign last week and it goes until this Friday. They are collecting hygiene products for homeless teens. The list of items is long, so check with a participating teacher to see what you can donate. Teachers who are participating have pumpkins in their rooms. And as always, Student Senate will also accept cash. Prizes will be awarded to the top two teachers' classes who raise the most money and collect the most items. We appreciate your attention today. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Yolanda Morrison. And I'm Marissa Trill. Have a great short week. Remember, we're off on Friday.